Looks like there's a fresh bin outside the door. I guess we'll look through here for a minute. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Well today we are going to make a quick trip to the Goodwill to do a little shopping to see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. After that we actually are going to go over to Bedford Street Antiques. Andrew has some more items that he wants to put into our case that we have over there. Um, so let's get to it. Is that a puzzle box? It is a puzzle box but unfortunately it is missing um, a few of its pieces. A minute piece there on the end and here. That would have been a neat one because it's shaped like a dove. It's a shame. I like the looks of that pottery. Uh, I can't really make out the signature of it. But that's really neat for dollars and ninety-nine cents. Alright, I'll take that. You know what it kind of reminds me of Mackenzie Childs. I know it's not, but um it's definitely a cool pattern. What are those? Oh, <laughs> I saw them from a distance. I thought they were gold. Um, I think somebody just used some paint and added the detailing to those. All right, well, let's go this way. I like that. This is actually carved from um, stone. It's not a pottery piece. I find that these are usually tourist um, items, so I don't usually pick them up. Notice a giant figural teapot over here. It does have a sticker on it that says as is for $4.99. And I think the as is is right here where it's been glued back together. So that's really not something that we're going to pick up. Here is a Tonala vase. I think this is, no, this isn't. I had, there was one here that just hung around for the longest time. Um, this one is only $1.99. I was I think I could probably get eight to fifteen dollars on that, possibly more, because of its size. Um, but for a dollar ninety-nine, I'll grab it. The one that was here had a Cancun, or it was a souvenir piece, so I didn't pick that one up. But I will pick. I'll pick this one up. I think this is. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that hand painted? Because if it is, that's amazing. But it's not. It's a mass-produced piece. This is a giant fork. <laughs> that is super big, probably for salad, but it's kind of a weird, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Here is a tin. Hmm, I kind of like the lid on that. It's interesting. Let me see if I can pull the lid off. Um, there's no markings on it though. I mean, if it was marked England or something like that, we've been doing well with tins from England. Uh, if that was the case, I would pick it up. But behind it here, check this out. Now this looks like USSR. It has strawberries on it. I like the strawberries. I usually find it with strawberries on it. So this is just a little spoon. We'll put it in there for $2.99. And maybe we'll find some more of it. The past few times I've found that, there's been a whole grouping on the shelf, and that's been awesome. What is this back? All right, I thought for an instant it had some texture that reminded me of fire and light, but it's not textured, so I don't think that's the case. Uh, this is Pier 1 Imports. Looks like there's a fresh bin outside the door. I guess we'll look through here for a minute. That's a nice piece. Six dollars and ninety-nine cents. Some candles in here. Apple cobbler. Oop, my lid just popped off. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> I guess it's a hiking apparatus of some sort. Yes. this? Home interiors and gifts. 
a giant resin sculpture with Santa Claus on it. Golf balls. I see plates down in the bottom. One of my viewers just commented that they found 75 pieces of Mackenzie Childs at their Goodwill. So that gives me hope. <laughs> I don't think that's Mackenzie Childs, though. That kind of reminds me of like a Pier 1 pattern. Alright, I think I'm going to give up on this bin. Since we are pressed for time, I figured I'd come over here to the blue section and check this out. Um, this is Pima Fix. Oh, it's for fish tanks. Party light, Little tea lights. You know what? I actually need um, some tea lights for the beautiful votive I just bought. I think they need to have plastic, though. I don't think they can just be little pillar candles, so I'll pass on those. A little album in there. This shelf here is pretty bare. This is what this Goodwill used to look like. It used to always be like this. And I know a lot of you have Goodwills similar to this where it's just bare shelves, but I've noticed they've been putting a lot more on the shelves recently and that's why I've been hanging out here a little more often. That looks like art glass. $3.99. Wow, look at that. I thought at first the stem was broken on it, but it's not. It's $3.99. I think I could get $25 to $35. Oh, it's a peach. Yeah, I mean, it's a little small, but I'm thinking yeah, I could get some money for that. There is a red pitcher up here. It's flashed, but the flash looks to be in really good condition. It's $1.99. The gold the contrast with the flash is just fantastic. Uh, so I feel like that's a piece. We'll also take with us. I would love to find a sugar to go with it, but I don't know if it was actually intended as a creamer. Wow, Lennox, $9.99. It's a holiday piece. I wonder if somebody else pulled it out and then decided it wasn't worth it. I mean, it's technically a fairy light, even if it is Lennox. It's a holiday tartan candle lamp. It is $9.99, but... New in the box? I feel like that could be worth it. Here's a little trinket box. It's the New World, the Mayflower. I remember living in Cape Cod as a kid and this was one of the field trips that we took was to the Mayflower. <laughs> I think it is possibly vintage. I don't think it's um, super old. I like that. $3.99. Probably upwards of $12 for that, so there's some profit to be made. I noticed this on the top of the shelf. There's actually two of them. Guess it's a mama and baby goose, possibly. $1.99 and $2.99. Obviously, they're wall art. Uh, they fit. They're vintage, for sure. And I feel like somebody would like this. This is just hanging in the hard goods. It's a purse. I'm assuming it's likely made in India. Maybe Nepal or something. I don't really have a use for that. Um, and I'm not sure what the resale value would be because I suspect it's probably a, like a touristy piece. Although it is very cool. I will definitely say that. Here's some buttons. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of buttons. How many buttons are even in there? And what is the price on it? Oh, $9.99. For all those buttons. I feel like those are older buttons. They look to be porcelain uh, wrapped in brass. I wonder what their purpose was, because that's kind of crazy. Wow, you know what, I might, I might grab these. Angela, uh, who does a lot of our jewelry, she actually is a button person. She loves old buttons. So she might know a thing or two about those. Never bought buttons to sell before, but I mean, they're pretty cool. I like the butterflies on that, but it is Teleflora gift, and I don't actually think that those go together. There's kind of a gap in between. This is an art pottery mug. I feel like one we've looked at in the past.
There's some textured glass, but it's not the right texture. All right, so I think this is one of the last shelves to check out. They've got this kind of mushroom canister here. Container made in Belgium. Uh, I know some of the older ones with these mushroom tops can sell relatively well, but I think this is a more contemporary piece because it has a rubber casket on it. So that's something we are gonna leave behind. Check out the remainder of the, this aisle. Here are some trinket boxes. I see that design a lot and I'm not really sure. I, I'm assuming it's probably made in China. I like that there's two of them together. Um, I don't know. Oh, there you go. This one has a mark. Bondware, L and M. Never heard of that before. Uh, Five dollars each. I don't know. I'm thinking. You know what? Let's grab them. Five dollars each. I'm thinking. I could probably do twenty to twenty-five on the pair. And then here is a vintage powder dish. It does look like there is wear right there under the corner of the sticker. I don't know if you can see it right here. Yep, some of the enamel on the lid is missing, so that's also not for us. Okay. Well, that's weird. I didn't know that they made uh, shades. That looks like a Vera Bradley. Only in the lamp shade. Interesting. Also, there's some birds. I'm gonna reach through for those birds. They're quails. Made in China, $6.99. They're decorative. Um, quails. There are two of them. I don't know why I don't just walk around. <laughs> um, not for food use. Do not use these quails for food. They are simply decorative. I like the pair of them with the color combination. They're nice decorative pieces, even though they are contemporary. Um, yeah, we'll pick those up. <laughs> it's just my luck. I turn on the camera and a loud truck goes by. <laughs> Okay, well our total spend today at the Goodwill was $90, and we are here now at Bedford Street Antique. How much did you spend? $90. That's it. <laughs> so we're going to head in here and see what we can find to buy and flip for profit. Here we go. So here he is restocking his booth case thing. <laughs> You're uh, changing out the coins, is that what you're doing? Yeah, so I'm pulling out all the coins I got in here. I'm recolor coding and doing something a little different with them to keep better track of them. Can I film your coins? <laughs> that joke's never gonna get old. Those, okay. are, those are the old ones that are These are the out. old ones. So basically what I'm gonna be doing, when I go back to the shop with those. Mm -hmm. They're all gonna get barcodes with a, with a SKU number on it. Uh -huh. So this way I can keep track of them while they're in here. And then I'm also color coding. In here is getting green. Okay. And then the red will be over in Carlisle. And then we're going to rotate. I'm using red, green, and blue. And as I rotate the stuff, then some of it will go to eBay. Uh -huh. Some of it will come in here. Some of it will go to Cam. And then once it's been in the malls for a little while, then I'll put it on eBay. But I want to give the locals a chance to look at it first. Sounds like you have a plan. I do. <laughs> Now it looks full. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to come back and put some more stuff in here, but I needed to fill this space up because I only had like three trays worth. Mm -hmm. I had uh, six trays in here, so I need to redo three trays, but I've got plenty of blue that I just pulled out of Carlisle that I'm going to redo and, and put in here. So I got all brand new. I put all brand new coins in, in Carlisle this morning, so everything in Carlisle is brand new. But this is new this also? Is, this or is all brand new to here. Okay. Um, and then I've got brand new stuff still at the shop to put out too, so mm -hmm. lots, lots of brand new coins and stuff. I've just spotted this creamer and sugar set, and this is a Lessi. Um, we actually have two espresso cups listed right now on eBay. Unfortunately, we do not have the saucers. So that's kind of a bummer, but uh, these sell pretty well. Usually we, anywhere from $60 to $120. Um, I've noticed that the black handled ones do sell better than the blue. I'm not sure why that is, but it just seems to be a common trend. Uh, but we found the espresso cups at the hoarder house, so that was kind of neat, and I recognized it right away. 
There's some bottles here. What did those say? Are they Italian? They are Italian. Hmm. There's a pair of them. And uh, I don't want to scratch the table by moving it around, but I don't see a price on the. Oh, it's on the bottom, of course. $45 and polyamethyst ribbed vase. Gotta look in all the cabinets. Wait a second. Oh, <laughs> at first thought I, I thought this was um, a turkey foot. But it's obviously not a turkey foot. Here is an ice cream scoop. Andrew has taught me to always look for the heart-shaped ice cream scoop because apparently those are quite desirable. See much new new stuff back there, so I don't think I'm going to attempt it. Looks like they've got an entire troll collection in here, <laughs> amongst all the beautiful glass. Here are some pretty green plates. Twenty dollars for all of them. It's not each. Um, EO. We recently purchased something that was also EO Nippon. Those are sweet little plates. Twenty dollars for all of them. I believe those are cherry blossoms. I'm checking the edges just to see if I feel any roughness, and I don't really. So those might be worthwhile for only twenty dollars. Let's see what else we can find in here. I'm kind of digging this pepper mill. I never really had an appreciation for pepper mills until the order house where there was seven million pepper mills. <laughs> I had never seen so many. This is uh, $53. Sometimes they are signed by the artist. This looks like it could just be... Oh look! This is a prize. This is the number one prize of 1961. How cute is that? even says not for sale there on the bottom. I don't know if you can see. It's focusing on the doll over there. Um, it says not for sale. That's funny. That's really cute, too. Number one sale is a pepper grinder. I'm just not really that confident at $53. <laughs> this in the back is really neat. This is a uh, old-fashioned car made out of watch parts. That's pretty, pretty neat. a nice silver overlay vase. $36 on that. The silver is still very uh, very clear. It's not worn. It always towards this Do I always gravitate towards this booth? Yeah. It's because it's got the shiny stuff in it. Yeah, I know. Like you know where you can find me if you can't find me. Yeah, no, I like this <laughs> 24 on that? You don't have a discount sale on this, do It's a calla lily, not a jack in the pulpit, silly. Well, it says jack in the pulpit oh. on the tag. That's why I read that. Maybe it's an interchangeable term. I just know because I love calla lilies. I don't know, my dear. Um, can you take these plates for me so I can use my hand? Yes. Thank you. Now you can't use your hand. Yes, I can. <laughs> Look at this. That's cool. Isn't that cool with the green on Are the you bottom? These? Yeah, they're only twenty dollars for the whole stack. There's no damage on them. I thought they're great for spring. They're in a pond. Yeah, they have a nice color. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I also like this for twenty two fifty. It's got kind of a peachy color to it. Here is a dancing lady light. She kind of reminds me of one of those German uh, figurines. Uh, whether Art Deco. I don't know if she's German or not. I'm having kind of a hard time with it. The other day I had picked up a Schmid music box at the Goodwill, and so I just noticed this Schmid music box. It is Benjamin Bunny. Um, it's a very sweet little music box. I don't think this one sells for very much. I think um, it's about 
a little bit more than the asking price of $10. But I did notice when I was looking up the Schmidt music boxes that if you find the Snoopy ones, you're in luck. So unfortunately, this is a bunny and not Snoopy. But we will continue our search. Here's your number one prize. For what? I look like I'm gonna crack some pepper? <laughs> First prize, 1961. Good job. <laughs> no comments. I thought you would have something clever to say. At least the leg lamp prize would have been cool. <laughs> We just found one of these at Goodwill earlier, and we paid $10 for it, and it looks like they're offering it here for $39. So there you go. I think we'll do all right on that. Wowzers, will you look at that. Those are something else. And they're Italian. Mid-century set. Hmm, interesting. And there's a platter and everything. I couldn't imagine eating my, uh my cake off of that. It's very uh, interesting. Hmm. Don't say anything inappropriate. I... I, I <laughs> you I, have nothing to say. <laughs> I'd lick that plate clean. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> so I'm kind of bummed out because this is a booth that we loved to visit and it looks like they're clearing out. That's a bummer. We yeah, we smell great stuff in here. Yeah. There's a melon vase. Thirty dollars, forty percent off. Who is that? Twelve dollars. Yes, it didn't sell the greatest. I think it's sold for four dollars. Like I started it at. <laughs> <laughs> There's some Krasno Poland. You can see that bubble there in the bottom. What did you find? It's, it's a shipwreck wood. Um, the ship went down in 1886. It was built in 1873. And it's probably in one of the uh, Great Lakes, Lake Michigan. Cool. That's pretty cool. This booth seems to be nautical themed. Yeah. I like it. How much? 1100 It's probably one of a kind. Oh, sure. I really love that painting. This colorful plant stand right here is $15. Oh, it's all wobbly. It's at that there. This is a stork and rushes vase. Oh, I think that sells between $15 and $20. They have 18 on it, so they're right on the mark. I love the colors on that table. I like it. How did they use for the top? I don't know. I was wondering that too. This looks like cardboard. I'm not sure, but I thought it was cute. Kind of reminds me of a Rubik's Cube. I think that's why I like it. Here is an Eldritch Snowman from 2003. It's $39. Hmm. I might grab that for $39. I guess snowmen are still relevant, but he kind of has like a Christmas tree and a wreath. So I might hold on to that until Christmas. Run him auction style. Kisper, Montreal, Canada pair for $18. I think they're wall pockets. I like the glaze on those and there's a pair of them. 18 bucks. Okay. Look at that. I'm not shipping it. I'm not asking you to ship it. It's I'm concrete. thinking for the new house. It's concrete. I'm not carrying it. But when we get the new house, that's something we're going to want to have in the front yard. Well, we can come back and buy it later because we don't... I'm not <laughs> lugging it around and I'm not moving it and it's got a giant crack in it. Okay, fine. I spotted this little angel and I really like, like the detail on her. She's a very soft um, ceramic. I almost wonder if she's chalk or something. Five dollars. I believe she's a candlestick holder. 
And I'm not seeing any markings, but I think for only five dollars, I think we'll take her. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.